Tonight, the city of Bessemer is moving on up as Jefferson County Commissioners approve an incentives package for an Amazon fulfillment center. Amazon planning to build a $325 million advanced robotic center there. CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman live in studio tonight with those details. Robert, good evening. Well, Jack, big news for the city of Bessemer as it looks as though an Amazon fulfillment center is on the way. This would be the biggest investment in the city's 130 year history and would bring with it jobs and hope. This is a major game player, and so for the city of Bessemer, I think it would change uh, uh, the whole perspective of our city. Earlier today, the Jefferson County Commission approved an incentives package that is meant to bring an 885,000 square foot Amazon fulfillment center and at least 1,500 jobs to Bessemer. Kenneth Gully, the city's mayor, says a fulfillment center in his town would forever change the city. All of us know the socioeconomics of our city. Uh, and what this stands to do is make sure so that all of our citizens are able to be gainfully employed. You may recall Birmingham's campaign to score Amazon's second headquarters, HQ2, last year. Birmingham didn't get the headquarters, but it did catch Amazon's eye. You know, when we did that advertising bid for the HQ2, we knew our chances weren't real great. But not only that, if we put a good effort into it, put our heart into it, maybe not Amazon, but somebody else might notice. And it's kind of ironic that Amazon is the one that's coming back. This package includes several million dollars worth of incentives. But to State Representative Alan Farley, it's more than worth it. Best for fiction to be a place that people no longer move away from. People are going to be coming to, to live in Bessemer and educate their kids in the public school system in Bessemer. You know, you're talking about answer to prayer. That, that is an answer to a lot of prayers. Now, this is not quite a done deal yet, as the Bessemer City Council still has to vote next Tuesday. That being said, things are looking pretty good, and most expect the deal to go through. In the studio, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.